Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Silent Core and welcome back to my Red Dead series. Now today Rockstar released Telegram missions. I'm going to be going over how to start them, how the rewards work, how to get yourself some more rewards, and basically everything you need to know about this new content. Now as you'll see in the gameplay in the video, to start Telegram missions, you basically have to head to any your camp lock box or any post office and collect the Telegram. It will be listed as a new source of employment and that will contain a batch of telegrams offering work. Now when you collect this and go into your satchel and go over to the documents page, you'll be able to find your, um, your telegrams in here. And as you'll see, we have three new to play today. Now I believe Rockstar will be adding to this over time. Perhaps with each new Tuesday update, we're going to maybe get a couple more of these just to keep us interested until the next DLC. And we actually have a whole month left of Outlaw Pass 4 still, it seems like that's gone on for absolutely forever at this point. So I'm really happy that Rockstar have given us, you know, some new content um, to keep us busy in the meantime. So just to go over the Newswire post for this one, Rockstar said, Calling all outworkers and hired guns roaming the frontier in Red Dead Online, three new solo play missions are now available via Telegram. Coming down the wire from a mysterious source known only as J, new source of employment missions, are for willing hands to complete dangerous tasks and assignments for monetary reward. Now interestingly these missions are actually solo only so you can play this as part of a posse even if you want to. It's kind of interesting Rockstar have designed these um, for solo players in specific. To go over the three telegram missions that were added today, first of all we have a one horse deal. The Braithwaites are negotiating a deal to buy a prized untamed white Arabian racehorse for Emerald Ranch. Your task will be to intercept the deal tame the unpredictable beast, and deliver the steed to your contact. This is a highly valued horse, so expect guards to give pursuit. Next up, Rich Pickings. Rumour has it that the mayor of Saint Denis is busy lining his pockets with seized jewels smuggled into the States. The mayor keeps his stash in the tightly guarded manner, break in, snatch the gems, and get back out alive. And the third telegram mission is Outrider. This is actually the one you're watching in the gameplay on screen. A wagon is making its way out of Brittle Bush Troll, requiring a skilled individual to provide backup against attackers and roadblockers en route. Whether you escort on horseback or ride shotgun, it's up to you, but if the driver dies, it's on you to get the wagon to its destination by any means necessary, and don't ask too many questions about the cargo. Now each new mission features three difficulty levels, I guess it's kind of similar to the way legendary bounties work where you can replay them at a higher difficulty and when you're replaying them at a higher difficulty you'll also get more rewards and it's going to become increasingly challenging with each time you replay. As for the payouts for standard difficulty, you're going to be getting around $15 and around 0.1 of a gold bar, but I do believe the rewards are time based so the more time you actually spend in the mission the more of a reward you're going to get. It's a bit weird how Rockstar sometimes does that, because they're basically incentivizing being slower to complete the mission, which sometimes doesn't make the most amount of sense. But yeah, Rockstar definitely surprised me by releasing these Telegram missions today. I talked about it up before my channel, but when they announced the new sources of sol solo employment, I was assuming that would be as part of the next DLC. So it's actually kind of nice to have some new content to play until we have the next DLC. And the Telegram missions are also quite easy content for Rockstar to make, you know, compared to, you know, full cutscenes and missions. The Telegram missions are a lot easier for them to develop, so hopefully this does mean that the updates we get each week will be a bit more substantial by just providing us some new missions here. If you want to be kept up to date with all the latest news and updates for Red Dead, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We've talked about all the leaks so far, everything from the grave robbery with Seth Briars to the Telegram missions and the taxidermy role before so you don't want to miss out on any future breaking news. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.